Yo, it's Yo, your boy Philippe Peck. Mickey so low, P I F P in full, yeah, yeah. Stay hooked on to New Bay Live. Hi, what's up, people? This is Andy the Royal Highness, and you're listening to New Bay Live. Hey, yo, yo, you're now listening to Hip Hop Uganda Live. It's your boy, truly, Sean. Home for Ugandan hip hop, hosted by yours truly, Sean. Sean. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Anonymous, G2 Complex, most official, and you're listening to Hip Hop Uganda on Nuve Live. Just right I here, just right here. Get, get it, get it, get it. You're now listening to another episode of the New Zealand Podcast, Hip Hop Uganda Live, hosted by Sean. By Sean. Yo, 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 what's up, people? Welcome to the New Villav podcast, and I'm Sean, your host. Uh, welcome to the episode that, uh, yeah, I know it has taken too long to come through. Uh, the, uh, the last time we did a show, I was uh, hanging with Big Vane here at uh, Pop Bell Drive Music. Yeah, we had a good time, and that was episode 8, and officially, this is episode 9. Uh, today on the show, uh, I do not have someone new, someone that you're not familiar of, uh, but of course, uh, it, it might be surprising for you. You, want, you might wonder what we have come to do today. Uh, first of all, uh, we, we have made all a year, ever since uh, the Nouvelle Live podcast, Hip Hop Uganda Live, started. Uh, previously, the show was Hip Hop Uganda Live show, and we did about, actually, we did 14 episodes in the first season, and this is the second season, though it sounds like a, a, a season of its own or another continuation of uh, the Hip Hop Uganda live show but we chose to call it Hip Hop Uganda live I, I, I understand the ambiguity is all there but we shall explain that in the future uh, so without wasting a lot of time don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Nuve Live that is N-U-V-E-Y-L-I-V-E -E, or visit the place where you found this episode uh, or you can visit nuvelive.wordpress.com and to get more details. Uh, uh, I've said a lot of stuff. Nays, say something, man. <laughs> Yo, how's everyone out there doing? Um, yes, we're back here again. Yep, yes. yep. We were here last year, right? Yeah, we were here last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like two months to today. Yeah, something Is like it? that. No, 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 no. So something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure, something like sure, that. sure, sure. Did I interview sure. that's you like, before? That's I, like 10 months now. Yeah, like 10 yes, months. Yes, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. I think that was like episode 13, was it? I think. 13? I remember that, I remember that, yeah. Oh, who came before, uh, was it Agi or you came after Agi? Because Agi, you yes, came I came after, after Agi. Yeah, yeah that, that was episode uh, mm, 13. Agi came Two. after the, the uh, PIF guys. PIF, yeah, guys, yeah. yeah. Yes, Who came yes. after Lyrical Jig? Mm, yes, exactly, exactly, yep. exactly. Uh, that was towards uh, the end of uh, season season one of Hip Hop Uganda, and that chapter was sure, closed sure. but opened in probably a newer book. So today I have uh, Nay's Avatar. Yeah. Yeah, you've listened to a lot of his work from Street Identity, from. Uh, stories of elevation, mm. the contributions there. Yeah, two tracks on there. Yeah. Um, 
Mi chiedo, wow, ah, they're just too many, man. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're too many. <laughs> yeah. Including the storytelling thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. Telling my story. Telling, telling your story. Is that yeah. project out? Yeah, guys put all their tracks individually. Okay. Yeah. I, I listen to the Sphinx. I listen to... PIF. PIF with, uh, with Prey. Mm. I listen to Shemi Bisemwandu is on his album M- MC Wang Jok MC Wang Jok uh, you know who else, who else? Big Vein is on there Painkiller has a Pain track Killer. on it how comes I haven't listened to any of those games man, <laughs> man. <Yeah. laughs> that's a that's an issue for another day, maybe. <laughs> that is strategy or something like that. Yeah, that, that, that's cool stuff. So, it, it, is it is it like a compilation EP or just you? How how are you taking this telling my story uh, project? Actually, when you do that project, okay. that's your song. Okay. So, yeah, you know what to do with it. Oh. You have it on your album, cool. On your mixtape, EP, you know, it's a single. Yeah, it's it's up to you. Oh. But uh, oh. sometime I'll I'll make a compilation of all these tracks. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I will. see who killed who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. I, I am. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Mickey Solo would be. Would be lining up for who killed who already? Already, because I, I have not listened you to Mickey listen Solo. To guys. I've not listened to Mickey Solo express <laughs> ah, himself yeah, the way sure. he did like that. Actually, uh, that 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 project has given guys uh, a, a couple guys uh, you know a challenge. Yeah. Why I call out these guys? Because you know most of them have never told stories. Yeah, yes. Most of them have never been like they have never brought out you know that that inner self. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I realize if I get these guys on, cause come on, if I give you the beat, it just gives you already you yeah, know it, something. Yeah, it creates, yeah. creates an impression of mm-hmm. sequencing events into a story. But trust me, uh, I feel Mickey Solo really show it showed uh, it came out some so nice out beat, of man. himself it so, of course i'm so used great. to him singing uh buddy guy and all that <laughs> stuff but it was impressive what he did there and the sphinx and everyone who is on that uh ep uh stuff like that uh nice yeah. can i ask you something okay what are you listening to like right now hip-hop wise um i'll be honest with you you know, I listen to a lot of Ugandan music. Okay. Yes, a lot. So I'm listening to Ugandan hip hop. Okay, that, that is really broad. Generally, generally. Ugandan hip hop, yes. You could name a few. A few. Moon G! Uh, yes. I know some guys will be like, come on. That, that is a hip hop that, part. That's hip hop. That's hip hop. It is. It is. I'll tell you gravity. And you still argue with me. You're like, come on, is that guy even serious? <laughs> um, um, <laughs> no? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Yes, a couple of other guys, you know. Guys are doing, you know. Ajo has a what? An, an EP coming up? Yeah, yeah, true. I'm going through that. No apologies. No, no apologies. 18th it May? It's there, man. Yeah, for for anyone um, who's offended about uh, Nez listening to Munji, no apologies. <laughs> no apologies, no apologies, man. <laughs> no apologies, nigga. Yeah, yeah, no apologies, nigga. <laughs> no apologies, no apologies. Uh, so, so far, that's, that's, that's great. So, yes, I'm listening to hip hop. Okay. Yes. Like from everywhere, from, you know, Uganda, from every angle. Okay. Yes. Uh, are you down to be Tam Benizari? We are working, man. What are you saying? <laughs> See, and now this is the part that I enjoy. I, I, I seem to grind him and he reveals everything. I, I didn't know they were working. Oh. oh so are you listening oh, to any Teva? I'm should. listening to Teva. I'm listening to Benezeri. You know, I'm listening to, you know, guys from Tinder. Yes. Tinder, Tinder Yes. Tinder NTM. I'm listening to guys from, you know, Nelly said is doing well. Yeah. You know, I listen to all the games. Actually, just released uh, a track uh, last weekend. Uh, or two tracks, I think. One Movium. And Balua and. and uh, yeah, Balua the video and then Movium with uh, this. Yeah, man. Uh, that guy is doing well, man. Yeah, and Black Boy. Yeah. yeah that was, guy is doing well, man. That was great. So, yeah. uh, do you know why I asked you that? 
because mm. I want to ask you another thing. Mm-hmm. Have you listened to a guy called Strap, S T R A P? Yes. What do you think of his music? He's too abstract. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, <laughs> man, this guy is great. He's great. He's great. He's great. I have his album on there. Uh, yeah. Yes, I bumped it. You know. Past. Yes, yes, and it's trust me, that that guy is great. Why abstract? What ma- yes. what makes him abstract? He's great. You're going to mention Mickey Soul and someone like, yeah, you're going to mention Strap. Yeah, like, wait, let me first go back and listen to his jams. Eh? <laughs> <You> okay. <know? laughs> no, he's not, he's not, uh, he's not like, he's not like straight up, okay. you know? He's not like someone you're going to listen to once and then, you know, you get everything he's trying to say out. Okay. Yeah. You need to listen to him over and over again. You, you know Caliber? Yeah, I know Caliber. Yes, Caliber is like, he's like that. You know, you're going to listen to his track and like, wait, Babula, what was this guy saying? Babula, and then Babula. you go back like, no, what did this guy mean here? You know, uh, shit is in Luganda, man, come on. <laughs> yeah, it's but true. it's just, you know, uh, it's that abstract. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, is it, 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 one of his vids. Okay. Yeah, he's, in the next level? I the next level was called? released, I think, last year. Like that vid, you know. Oh, they were playing golf or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. next I level. That song. That's, yeah, that's yeah, next yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. I think he really, yeah, he released it last year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, I was still saying, what do you think really makes uh, STR AP that abstract? Is it, is it that he's so much influenced by movies that uh, he he sort of puts them into the songs to relate, like skittish work, or is it because of the samples? Because uh, his album, Futuristic Past, has uh, a, a number of samples, mm. like uh, Sister Nancy's Bam Bam. Uh, yep, it has samples from that. It has samples from My Love, is it? Justin Timberlake, which uh, he, he sort of chops and screws like the Houston guys, and he puts it at the end of Friends on. What, what do you think? Is it because of the samples or...? Mm, samples wouldn't make you abstract. Okay. Yes, but it's your, it's your. Um, should I say delivery? You know, lyricism. Yeah, all that okay. stuff. Yeah. A sampling. No, oh, that wouldn't make you abstract. Come on, how? I, I, I'm, oh. th- I'm thinking. <laughs> like sometimes it puts the samples. Mm. Like they sort of try to explain explain what the track is about mm. but technically technically when you listen to what he's saying it's just it's beyond what the sample is saying so the sample is like a distraction or an obstacle mm. to what we are supposed to go to, to be listening to, yeah, to, be <laughs> listening to. Uh, I don't know what to say then. Uh, you don't know what to say. <laughs> no, yeah. Anyways, nonetheless, what, what I'll do be you honest. Th- <laughs> nonetheless, what do you think sampling is? Uh, sampling is uh, uh, getting a portion of you know a, a song, a particular part. Yeah, you chop it and uh, you fit it into. Oh, uh, you build something onto that around that. Yes. Okay. Let's say uh, there's, a, there's a vocal on a song you like, you know? Yeah. yeah, you chop that off and then you build something onto it. Yes. Yeah, so it's technically like getting an audio portion of uh, like another track and then build something around mm. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, that's, is it like just copying paste and then put other things like a track around it? I don't know. Oh, I'll say yeah. copy paste because okay. come on, you're going to you know you you're going to copy these things like, you I, know. I, I I was referring to okay, me are copying paste mm. and then maybe putting things around it that would like necessarily affect it, but the sample will be hard the way it is. You know, it's original form. Or, oh, oh, or, or, or you can change it. it. Or you can change okay, it. Okay, yes. so I was yes. asking the question: Does it mm. stop at just copying it, or no, no, it changing doesn't. and you can modifying do anything it. with it? Because I've listened to a lot of sampled songs but you know you can't tell you can't identify that you know that's a Chris Brown vo- vocal okay. or something yeah so it is your art it is your art th- do you, you know, that do you, you put to, uh, that you push to it yeah so do you do this like a lot I, I do it once in a while, once in a while. <laughs> yeah yeah any, I once in a while any projects that uh, uh, there are sampled in uh, let me see 
uh, Ejo's EP is coming out. It has a jam called Aphrodite. Okay. Yes, I sampled. Who? But you can't what? tell I sampled. <laughs> sampled. You can't who? tell I sampled. <laughs> he sampled who? Uh, what? Uh, there is uh, there is uh, an Afro soul singer called uh, uh, what's her name? Shifa Musisi. Okay. You know she has this uh, you know she has this jam called Endongo yeah. Okay. yeah yeah yeah. It's a very beautiful song. When I listen to it, I'm like I, I can't do something on this. Come on. Yeah, so you had, you had to drop it on. <laughs> yeah. <for dating>. <laughs> I chopped that Endongo yange. Just that one word, Endongo yange. Yeah. I chopped that and then I built something on it. So, uh, can we access that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, we can, we can. Uh, hey Joe, we, we no apologies. <laughs> <laughs> so, I uh, any other track that you've sampled? Ah, uh, ah, uh, which other bit? Which other track? Um, there's a beat Excel used on his weekly. Uh, it's a uh, week seventeen. Okay. Yeah, there's that beat there. Yeah, it's a sampled beat. Yeah. Actually, that's my first sample. Yeah, I think that's my first, my very first. Because oh. I did that, I made that beat in 2012. Yeah, but it sounds fresh. Of course. <laughs> it sounds fresh. Out of Port Belgium music. It sounds fresh, it sounds fresh. Yeah, yeah, true, Yeah, true. and then a couple other projects. And then, s- sampling, okay, we are talking hip-hop. Yeah, Yeah, but hip-hop. I've sampled in, in, you know, in other types of music. Yeah. I've sampled in dancehall music, I've sampled in reggae, you know. Sampling, sampling, man. So, uh, <laughs> and then sometimes you can just, you know, choose an an instrument, and you, and you replay it. Okay. Yes, you choose an instrument and you and you replay. That's still sampling. Uh, is, is would would it be like a cover of the original thing? It's not cover. It, actually, I, like in the sense of covering, because yeah, covering yeah. entails re- redoing something, or, or let's call it a redo. Or a remake. Mm, yeah. Mm, a remake, but of one instrument. Or one instrument. One instrument. <laughs> okay, I, 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 was, I was now going to the recently <laughs> dropped track uh, mm. of uh, the, the Kampala, Kampala boy that's Flex the Paper. He mm. premiered the track last weekend that was. Uh, oh, I've been listening to the, that. The, what, was the, what's, what was the date of it last weekend? Last weekend? Yeah, like Saturday. Uh, What's the day today? <laughs> day is ninth. Ninth, that's mm. like uh, sixth, I think. It must uh, have been sixth. Yeah, he, pre- he premiered uh, a new song uh, called... Uh, Last Saturday? Yeah. That was second. Second. Mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was... Uh, he, he released a new track which, which is featured on by uh, Calligraph. It's mm. called Ching... Is it... Ting Badi Ting, Malo. Yeah, oh, Ting Badi yeah, Malo. Yeah, yeah, I remember now, uh, this, this, I know the, this the track is like a remake mm, or mm. a remix of the original track. Mm. Does that feel like sampling if they put any vocals of the original song in it? They put the original vocals but uh, made uh, made a different beat. Made a different beat. Yeah, that's mm. sampling. They yeah, sampled sampling. his voice. Okay, now I, I think the picture is more clear. <laughs> <laughs> the picture is more clear. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. do uh, do you think samples are important in hip hop? Yeah, they are. Cause actually, hip hop was, uh, uh, cause hip hop was actually the, uh, how should I put it? You know, people started to know about sampling from hip hop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and most people know that. So it 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 is it is important. Uh, is uh, uh, I think it's a DJ inspired thing, cause DJs tend to play around with sounds as they bring yeah, like yeah, the, true, the true. main track true. into it. I think I think this is a typical DJ's duty in most cases. And we've seen DJs in history. Yeah, you see, if you check out history of sampling, that's mostly DJs. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think it started around 1960s or this 70s. Uh, 70s, the, 70s, 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 80s. 80s. Yeah. Yeah, 70s. 70, 80s, yeah. Yeah. But but in Uganda, yeah, not so many guys sample. Like I, I would say, objectively sample. I feel like most of the guys don't objectively sample. Like 
they just make a remix of the track like in most cases i won't mention names but do, do, do you think it can be made better you know sometimes we don't really want to feel the track again but we want to feel the track again in you another feel, perspective you want to feel okay like, oh, okay yeah okay me i think uh yeah. okay how i do sample i make you feel that that track sounds familiar yeah but yeah? but the, i just the, make you feel like you uh, know you, you you have this thing in you that hmm, I love this song. You, 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 it reminds me yeah, of something. Yeah, you're being troubled. You know? by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a very nice way to yeah. do it. So, uh, it, yeah. th- so it feels like samples all sort of help us keep track of our own yeah. music. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah man, it I didn't even think of it. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. Uh, <laughs> it's it's inside right now. So yeah, they, I, actually, yeah, I had it in my mind, but it feels like we are keeping track of our own music, catching up with. Uh, with the music and sometimes it speaks volumes of what we are inspired of right yeah i think i think it's a great thing i i would tell you of one uh, good good example of a perfect sample mm-hmm. uh by uh, keiko's keiko there's a track called miss indy mm-hmm. she samples uh is it that's grace, grace, grace mm-hmm. i literally forgot about that track it's no hip hop the track is no hip hop uh, for grace mm-hmm. but I forgot in the title but I, I I used to relate to it that but what I'm missing is something like that but when Keiko was sampled it like 2 months ago mm. there is this feeling we we are reminded of our own Uganda music in most cases we are reminded of, of reminded of the music we sort of feel the same feeling but of course Keiko uses it objectively to mean to mean or support the subject matter in a song i, I guess samples are important that way they are. yeah they, they, they are mm. surely important they are. Mm, uh, which are the samples that are dope out there do you think we should sample more of ugandan content yeah sample is a, sampling is an art of you know home. man in home you know man yeah give someone that you know come on now like me i started listening to music as far as uh, let me say 94 Mm. Yeah. So, it would make me feel good if I listen to a, a 94 track. Something I listened to when I was you know, going to school, you. <laughs> you know, you have your container, you you know, you run into school and uh, this jam that with, used to play every your, morning with your bag carried you get, upside down. <laughs> you get, man. <laughs> <laughs> I I I didn't bag and uh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, it will give me that, you know, it will take me back. What what do you think so about uh, Navio's Chigozi? Cuz that's what I know. Hey, la, 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 the, the most captivating yeah. uh tracks with dope. good samples like that. Mm, yeah. I think it it's was really nice. one of the most perfect samples we've had. I mean, Ethan, was it Ethan? I don't I know. know certain, I think it's Ethan. I mean, or Samurai. Or I'll check that. You know, that, that, that it made us change our perspectives about this guy called Navio. But just because it tends to give us less of what we expect every time. Gives yeah, us uh, a half-baked cake. <laughs> no apologies. <laughs> I'm using that intellig- intelligently. <laughs> you, you know what? You know, you know the feeling. You know you're expecting cake. And it mm-hmm. doesn't give you all. It's suspending us and all that. Like, but no, right that's his marketing strategy. So, uh, which other thing do you think uh, samples like, add up to like, on a hip-hop uh, scene? You're now listening to another episode of the Nouvelle Live Podcast, Hip-Hop Uganda Live, hosted by Sean. Anyway, uh, maybe the, I caught you off guard, but uh, the major thing is I think... Uh, are getting us uh, resonate with our own music uh, keeping with the trends of our own music but i think all, also the samples help to like communicate something like the genres that it, sh- it sh- shows like uh, rappers or producers awareness of music around us because by the time you go to sample a track you're aware of it in most cases but you see though, the though, reason why uh, uh most producers would in sample like songs from here mm. you know the legal side of it yeah you know that yeah and you can and I know to all of us with that you know we are not yet into that you know 
that that legal corporate you know? yeah. yeah 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 i would also fear man <laughs> come on <laughs> hey, so, so, the, the, get the, a biblical the, the, b- the, b- the biblical pro- German the, the problem I, 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 yeah I think the, the <laughs> big <laughs> issue with sampling in in, in in UG here is that sometimes you may make the sample may make the track very dope mm-hmm. nicer mm-hmm. than even uh, like where it's gotten from and sometimes uh, they will take you for jumping on someone else's web <laughs> so like is that, that controversial part uh, <laughs> okay. to it as well yeah, so, but crazy, but all in all, the samples are important. Yeah, that's they are, the truth. They are very, they are. Yeah, so, hip hop. Yeah, they are very, 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 very. So, uh, which one is your best sampled song? In Uganda. In Uganda, here. Yeah. I mean, that's already a sample. In Uganda, here. Yeah. <laughs> From uh, Taka HD's uh, response to code. He sampled the president's vocals. I don't know if you still consider that as a sample. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He did sample. Yeah, he did. He sampled, yes, he sampled. Uh, I don't know. I would go with the. Uh, I'm not saying it's the only best I've listened to, but Chigozi because it's authentic. Ah! Uh, Stone Town has this jam called. Uh, What's that jam called? Killer Siku? Killer Siku. Yes. Uh, I think that's my favorite. Okay. LP's track. Okay. Killer Siku. The sample there. Uh, I think she's Kenyan. Mm. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. And I think it's a uh, very beautiful song. What, what do you think of uh, Painkiller's EP? That, that EP was mm. filled with a lot of samples. So. Yeah. Yeah. They are really very, they are very many. They are very many. <laughs> they are very many. It's like the <laughs> whole EP was <laughs> yeah. a, a, pro, a but, sample. But project. there's this track on his, his album. Okay. You know? He's working on an album. Okay. Yeah, there's this track called uh, Sick. It really has nice samples. You, you guys will feel it and it comes out. The album we, comes out. We, we <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it is, you know, he, he sampled from reggae. Okay. Yeah, so it's. it's it's really nice. It's, it's amazing, you know. Because most guys will sample, sample from hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I think uh, FMC Squared was the hip hop sample from hip hop sampled sample. I don't know if that makes sense. Like <laughs> sampled yeah. from a hip hop song <laughs> into a hip hop song. Uh, the, 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 that uh, catchphrase. Top, 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 top line. Hey, yes. Yeah, yeah. Simon Eli, what up? <laughs> Shout out to that homie. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. Hey, yeah, play, not to play, Simon Eli. Yeah. He yeah. played me a beat sometime with these these uh, indigenous uh, beats and sounds. Mm. Uh, though we didn't speak at length and. I I didn't really bother so much to ask him about his sampling business, but I think that that has become a niche of his lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 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 a dope thing. So, wow, oh, what more can I say, man? Samples are important. Yep, they are very important. They are very important. I love that song. Killer Siku. It's very beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. You know, he sampled it in a na- in in a way that if you don't know about sampling, mm-hmm. you, you think you can't figure out. <laughs> no, you can't, because <laughs> the sound is just perfect. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just sure perfect. Thing. It's just perfect. There are different, you know, there are different, you know, way ways of sampling, you know, types of samples, you know, loops, you know, and then that part I was telling telling you about of you know, cho- choosing an instrument. Okay. Yes. You choose an instrument, a particular instrument from you know from a song, and then maybe use that alone, and then you know, use it your way. Yeah. Yo, yo, I guess we have come to the end of the show, but before we uh, conclude, I want Naze to say something, something for his fans. I mean, he's an artist. You say fans? <laughs> yeah, I'm not an artist, man. It's <laughs> an artist. What's a producer? I mean, I, I could listen to a beat. Ah, oh, we, speaking of producers as artists, Baru's uh, redefinition was a sample project. Isn't it? 
the, 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 the sound of yeah, mm. the, the, yeah, he's somewhere, he's some of that. Shout out to Baru. Yeah, I, I spoke to him last year almost to death. Yeah, with doing episode five of a uh, hip hop Uganda live show. Shout out to, Shout out to Baru. Shout out to Baru and everyone who listens to the show. So, Niz, any final remarks? Any final remarks you have? Um, all I can say is, uh, guys out there should just keep their ear, you know, to the ground, because, man, a lot is coming. You know, we've been cooking, you know, last year was all about cooking. So, this year, we are releasing. Yeah, you know, albums yes. are dropping, EPs are dropping, mixtapes, singles, you know, a lot. Yeah, a true, lot, a lot, true a lot, thing. Yes, uh, maybe just one thing we forgot. I think some samples make people more attentive. True. More it attentive does. to the trust. <laughs> it makes does. them more attentive. And, I, I mean, we, we like people who pay more detail to the track rather than making conclusions like a certain family I know. Anyways, nonetheless, I've been a new version. You can follow us on Twitter at Nuve Live. Uh, follow me personally at Nuve Sean. That is N U V E Y S H A W N. And you can visit nuvelive.wordpress.com. Uh, Naze, what's your Twitter handle, man? Naze, first of all, Naze is N A S E. Yeah. So my Twitter handle is Naze Avatar. Naze, you know, capital N. Naze, Naze, you know, N A S E. And then capital A V A T A R. That's Nes Avatar. At Nes Avatar. Yeah, true yeah. thing. Check me out on on Facebook uh Nes Spot Bell Drive. You know? Catch us right Catch here. Catch us right here. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it.